Hey there, this is Carl from the RO Bucket. Today I'm going to be demonstrating one of our accessories, the low pressure switch, automatic shutoff. And you would use this for one of two reasons. The first would be that if your bucket were to spring a leak when you're not around in your sugar shack, instead of dumping all that sap on the floor, it'll automatically turn the unit off. And the other would be if you're drawing from a bulk tank and it were to run out and you're not around, it would also shut the bucket down and keep the, prevent the pump from running dry. So the first thing you're going to want to do to use this is plumb it into your concentrate line and you're going to want to place it anywhere behind the needle valve. This has to be on the pressure side of the unit. If you bought one of our buckets and haven't uh, installed this yet, you are going to have to cut the line to get it in. It will come with the T that I'm showing you right now. Once it's plumbed in, you're going to turn on your bucket and get the sap flowing as you normally would, as though the pressure switch weren't even there. So we're going to remove the air from the concentrate line, slowly dial down the needle valve until we get a 50-50 concentrate to permeate flow. Once the unit builds up pressure, we'll be ready to hook our switch in electrically. We have good flow. What I'm going to do is quickly unplug the transformer, plug in the end of my low pressure switch, and plug the other end back in to my transformer. The unit should stay on. If it doesn't stay on, you didn't do it quite fast enough, you're going to have to repeat the procedure doing it a little bit, a little bit quicker. Once it's running, it's good to test this. And you can do that by opening your needle valve which would simulate a leak in the system, and you can see it automatically shut it down. To restart it, you would have to follow the procedure back through again. If you have any additional questions, feel free to email us at sales at brobucket.com. Thank you.